guys, Professor Prime here with MikeThePlant.com, and today on Prime Talk, we are taking a look at Bumblebee 109 Concept Art Megatron. This is a leader class figure from Transformer Studio Series. I'm super excited for this figure. I actually heard about this figure not too long ago, and I was planning on making a video about it, but then I forgot about it, and other things got in the way, and now it's sold out. So, unfortunately, I can't tell you guys to go run up and pre-order it, because you can't. At least on Hasbro Pulse's website, you can't. However, I have a suspicion that there might be a re uh, another like wave of pre-releases for this because and pre-order it because it's coming out in May. So we have like six months, or like five months until it comes out officially, at least on Hasbro Pulse. So you might still be able to get this. It might show up on Amazon or a couple other like you know stores. And of course, I'm hoping this thing will show up in Targets and Walmarts. I don't hold my breath though because right now. It's not looking good for Hasbro figures on the shelf. And I can tell you right now that most Walmarts and Target, not so much because Target doesn't really stock as much. But I can tell you right now, people are not buying Transformers right now. They're not buying the they're not buying Studio Series figures. They're not I'm seeing like, you know, the Rise of the Beast figures, minus a couple like larger figures because they're not putting them out just sitting on the shelves, especially the uh, Transformer Generation Legacy figures. They're literally sitting on the shelf. So I don't know if this guy will hit, hit stores. I don't know if they're going to keep it an online exclusive or not. But let's take a look at it. Obviously, it's the $55 price point again. So we're going to have a lot of the money going to paint applications because I don't think he's that complicated of a transformation. He's a Megatron. And we're going to get to the little, we're going to get to the other little tidbit thing that this also has but i think is interesting because i believe the concept art for megatron that was supposed to be in the movie but he was cut early on during the production process i believe that concept art was put on a dvd like an insert or like a special edition or something because a couple years ago there was a couple third-party companies that actually made a third-party version of this concept idea of Megatron in masterpiece scale size. And I think there might have been one that also did like a little bit of a larger size too. So, and this looks vastly different than what I remember seeing of those figures. So I'm kind of interested if like which concept art is used. Like was this like an earlier sketch or was this like a later sketch or was this like a sketch that kind of finalized a little bit for the toy i'm not 100 percent sure on that but i love how it has i love the the, pe de the paint deco is amazing look i love it i love how they this little detail right here and it's not all gray plastic it's got a little bit of silver in it the only thing that kind of bugs me about this figure is how like the face sculpt just doesn't really it just doesn't call for me it doesn't look like megatron to me it looks more like a dude but i like how we got a little bit like finger articulation we got like a looks like a pin we might have looks like three fingers and a single finger so i like that i, I kind of I, I like i like that at least you get a little, bit, a little bit of mobility in the hands I, I really like that so let's take a look at the tank mode and again it's megatron he's a tank it's pretty much looks like it's about the same tank design we've had for every single megatron since like probably like i think uh, I want to say uh, Titans Returns because he was a tank and that, and, and he was also something else too. So nothing really, nothing really to talk about here other than again a lot of the paint applications show through in this mode too. And I think this, I don't really remember seeing this on the. I don't know if I if I can see that. It looks like the, oh, it's like right here. So a lot of the paint decos are still showing through on vehicle mode, so that's a nice addition. Uh, the box again i'm not gonna talk about too much about the box i hate the fact that they still have the open box hasbro please close the box up and just if, if you're worried about people like opening the box up or like quality control of the figures one do better your quality control just do better and two put a special seal like how hard is it to create a special sticker that you put on the top of the box to seal the box like this po this product has been sealed how hard is that they do that on game systems and, I'm, and a lot of like a lot of video games, they they do that. Like in movies, they put special seals on them. Just put a seal on it. Close the box up. Just cover the box up so we can get a full artwork thing, and then just put a seal on it. Problem solved. Here's a better look at the box. It's kind of weird how high up it is though, because he's not that tall. So it's kind of weird how the head's kind of copped off right there. But again, 
I'd rather they just close the box up. I like how it looks a little dented here, too. That's a little funny. Then here's the back of the box. He's a 32 step changer for robot. The now, here's what's interesting. Here's what's interesting. He also turns into a jet or a Cybertronian jet. I don't know if you guys noticed a little flow, like look like uh, wings right there or fenders, I guess. I don't know what you call those, but for $55, this is and this is pretty good. This is pretty good. This is a pretty good leader class. This is this is this is pretty good. So obviously it's got three iconic modes. That's awesome. Like I a Cybertronian jet and a Cybertronian tank. I mean, and honestly, like, and unfortunately they didn't put, there's no, there's no shots. There's this shot, this shot, and that's it. So I don't know how good it looks good. The Cybertronian mode looks good, but I don't know how good it's actually going to be in practice. So I'm kind of worried about the fact that they don't have any like shots of just the jet mode. So this kind of bugs me. Uh, what else does he come with? Uh, he comes with his uh, fusion cannon, and that's about it. He, uh, so you don't get any extra accessories. There's no special like whoosh compatible accessories. You really only get those with commander class figures. Not really because art because we didn't get any with the last. Well, we did with Ultra Baggies, but we didn't get any with Motormaster unfortunately so yeah i mean there looks like there's a little bit of hollowness right here maybe but it might just be the, the the product shot i'm not too when it comes to chug figures like this i'm not too worried about the hollowness with the price hikes that hasbro's been implementing and then especially with a lot of the stuff that's happened recently with hasbro's laying off pe like over like 1100 people and honestly i'm gonna say this right now it's probably i should probably have a whole separate video for this but I don't think Hasbro is doing too well when it comes to the Legacy line and just generally the Studio Series in, ge in general. At least the last set of waves that came out because the release, uh, it was Walmart exclusive, I believe. There were these two packs for, for Black Friday of a lot of the uh, uh, older Studio Series and Legacy figures from like three years ago now that probably were taken up in the warehouse and they've gone on clearance. So... I, I just don't think it's a really good time right now for Hasbro. I mean, we are in January, so I don't expect people rushing out there to get figures and stuff like that. So a lot of this stuff has just been sitting on shelves through Christmas, didn't sell, and probably going on clearance here in the next couple months here. So if there are any figures from the Studio Series, the last couple lines that you didn't get, especially Rise of the Beast figures, you can still get... Uh, Mirage is still been sitting on shelves. I've still been seeing Nightbird sitting on shelves, and I've been seeing Bumblebee on shelves. I have not seen Battle Trap, and have never seen Scourge. I never saw Scourge hit the stores. I saw, well, I didn't see it. Mr. J got a Primal on the shelf one time. Never saw Motormaster. Never saw any of the other Studio Series figures. Really, I've never saw the Optimus Prime. Uh, Target exclusive, never seen it. It was available on Hasbro Pulse. It's now all sold out again. So I don't know what's going on with that. I'm just going to wait for a, a standard release of that. But I'm looking forward to getting this Megatron simply because I just, I have a shelf of Megatrons. I'm going to do a room tour eventually here, probably in the next month or so. I'll give you guys, show you guys like my collection and stuff like that. But if you want to see that, leave me a comment down below and we'll figure it out. But yeah, guys, I'm really, I, I really like forward to this figure. It's unfortunate it's sold out right now, so you can't just rush over to Hasbro Pulse and buy it. But I'm sure it'll be come back into stock again before it's released or after it's released. Hopefully, it'll hit the store shelves. But yeah, guys, that's all I got today for today's episode of Prime Talk. If you enjoyed watching this video, check out this video right here. And as always, guys, until next time.